Since Saturday, after the K-Palm boat capsized killing 33 people, including its owner Templar Bisasi, Brian White has been camping here. He's the first one to come up with the idea of pulling tons of the boat's wreckage out of the water using ropes and manual labor on Monday. When that did not work, the police brought an excavator to help retrieve the wreckage, lying about 30 feet underwater. Through all this time, Brian White has been moving around on the lake on the UPDF boat, giving orders and at the same time participating in some of the various exercises, even though he is a civilian, a matter that was not lost on Kampala Central MP Muhammad Nsereko. Now, what we use? Let us bring the let us bring the 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 let let them pass. Okay, let let them finish it fast. A civilian ordering the special forces. I don't know his name. I think he's called White Man or something. And telling people to pull a wreckage with a rope meant to pull, I, I think, uh, uh, cows or something. We have well-trained engineers. We have better people in this country. We do not underestimate everyone's effort in trying to do a rescue. But when it gets to that level, there must be a chain of command. You're working as who? Here, I'm working as a, a normal Ugandan. Because uh, this tragedy, what happened, you don't need even to be called where you are. It's like when you see someone who has lost uh, someone at his place, you will not bypass. You will, call, you will go to say sorry. But these are Ugandans. You are, you, you are my brother. I'm your brother. So anything which hurts you, I'm concerned. It's unclear whether Sereko's submission in parliament is what prompted police and the army to hold a joint press conference at Mutima Beach. However, the director of operations, Asman Mujin, explained why Brian White was part of the operation. We have also volunteers who are part of the civil society. Not NGOs, but civil society. And my best understanding is that civil society is always comprised of citizens who are concerned about the welfare and the situation of their own country. The legislators shared their views on the state of affairs. We went there, maybe he found a gap where the police officers were not re responding to what had happened. So he had to bring in other guys to sponsor them to do what? To, to, to pull the boat. Brian White, who is he? To come and give orders and give out money. No, he's not the only one who, who is having money in this country. This is very clear that government is absent. Where government is absent, Everybody now becomes a government of sorts. When the police is commanding Wananchi to do things, villagers say police is commanding them. Now villagers are commanding the police to pull the wreckage. They are saying it's bad. What do Ugandans want? It's not clear who gave orders or cleared Brian White, a civilian, to jointly operate with special forces. Sudil Yerhanga, NTV.